Dinner is ready. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. Nothing to do. Okay, oh, something to do over here first. He's too busy having his druggy wug wugs. It's spaghetti. I do love a little bit of spaghetti. I wasn't much in the kitchen. I did what I could. I'm doing that. House. What do I do? I go out and hire a fucking android. What a joke. Of course, androids are so fucking wonderful. Did I say? They never fail. They never tired. Sad. They're so fucking perfect, they ruined my fucking life. What are you looking at? What's your fucking problem? Not the life you Timothy. dreamed of, eh? Maybe you think this is easy. Maybe you think. It's my fault we live in this fucking shithole. My fault your fucking mother took off. You should stop taking drugs, Todd. Sometimes you really scare me, Todd. Fucking bitch took off without a word. Fucking whore walked out on me for a fucking account, It's all your fault. Daddy, no. It's all your fucking fault. Here. Come back here? Come back here right now! Yes! It's all her fault. I know it's her fault! I gotta teach her. I gotta teach her a good fucking lesson. Something. I want to open this fucking door. No, Carl! We'll fall! 
Oh no! Damn it! Here we go! Watch out, Kara! Managed to do it. We escaped. We managed to get away. And calm down. Tranquility. I didn't kill him. Um, he definitely got some head damage, 100%. But I did not kill him. That was by far the most boring party I've been but to in a I feel like I will years. be probably doing Every it again. I go to one of these, I ask myself, At some point, once I've completed this, this lot anyway, here? I'm just finding the choices that I missed. And all the schmoozers that go there. Well, it's a chance for all those people who but are yeah, anyway, to welcome to meet you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No one gives a damn about art. All they care about is how much money they're going to make out of it. A lot. Come on, let's have a drink. Oh, the excitement of this whole thing has made me thirsty. Let's go have a drink. Scotch? Neat as usual? Absolutely. Okay, but you know what your doctor would say. Yeah, well, you can kiss my ass. I'm old enough to a choose my own medication. A bit of scotch to keep the doctor away. Yeah, he does. He does. He is just awful. Did you leave the light on in the studio? No, no, I'm sure I didn't. He, yeah, 100% deserved to die. Call. This is Carl Manfred's android at 8941 Lafayette Avenue. We've just returned home and found the lights on. There may have been a break-in. A patrol car is on the way. Let's go check it out. Mr. Thing, I think... Marcus, no, I'm gonna come with you. No, you can stay here, okay. I'll take you. I'll take you. The thing is that I played this game a very long time ago. Leo! And 
What are you he doing? He did you die in the past. Myself. It's crazy what some people pay for this shit. Don't touch them. Look, they're all gonna be mine sooner or later anyway. Just think of it as a down payment on my inheritance. Marcus, get him away from there. Get him out of here. Look, I've already called the police. You should go now before you get yourself into more trouble. All you ever do is tell me to go away. What's wrong, Dad? Not good enough for you? Not perfect like this fucking thing? That's enough! Get out! Right now! What makes it so special Whoa. anyway, huh? What's he got that I don't? Leave him alone! Uh, uh. Come on! Let's see what you got! Marcus? It's a druggy son, yep. Hear me. Okay. Don't do anything. Go ahead, hit me. What you waiting for? Think you're a man? Act like one. Not fair. Stop it. It's a matter too much of a pussy. Stop it, Leo. Stop it. Just scared to fight back, you fucking bitch. No. Boom. Which I'm trying to oh, right. That's right. follow my original route as much as I possibly can. Leo, leave him alone. Listen, no. I'm gonna destroy you. And then it'll just be me and my dad. I'm gonna tear you apart. And nobody's gonna give a shit. I will endure. You're nothing. You hear me? You're nothing. No. Uh, uh, uh. Carl, no! Uh, oh, Carl. No. Uh, he was a fragile machine. Carl, don't leave, okay? Please don't go. Don't leave. Remember, Marcus. Don't let anybody tell you who you are. No. No. Dad! No! <sighs> Please! This is all your fault. This never would have happened if it weren't for you. The android. Who's the android? Android gets shot! And being very upset about it. I don't think I end up redoing that route. Why'd you kill him? What happened before you took that knife? I'm sorry! How long were you in the attic? Why didn't you even try to run away? Say something, goddammit! <laughs> Fuck it, I'm out of here. Language, Timothy. Honestly. We're wasting our time interrogating a machine. We'll get nothing out of it. You can always try roughing up a little. After all, it's not human. Androids don't feel pain. You would only damage it. And that wouldn't make it talk. Deviants also have a tendency to self-destruct when they're in stressful situations. Okay, smartass. What should we do then? I could try questioning it. <laughs> what do we have to lose? Go ahead. Suspect's all yours. Okay, let's go. We'll go so say hi. I'm Connor. That's why I have to sue. And he'll spill everything. Extract the confession. Okay, first of all, quick nose. Just look at myself. Make them think, what on earth is he doing? Just watching himself. What the fuck is it doing now? And 
nothing else to do in here. Oh, I didn't do that before. He's stressy. Let's go say hi. I'm going to sneeze. Hit mats caused by level two baseball bat. Burn marks over sixteen months. Dried blood. Oh. Low. Okay. No, I thought the second one then. Oh, there. Perfect. Now let's interrogate. I can't. So. Stressful first. Apply a little bit of stress. You recognize him? It's Carlos Ortiz. Stabbed 28 times. That was written on the wall in his blood. Yeah, we're going up. You're damaged. Did your owner do that? Did he beat you? A little bit more. You've refused to talk since they arrested you. If you don't cooperate, they'll do things the hard way. Is that what you want? You don't seem to understand the situation. You killed a human. They'll tear you apart if you don't say something. Okay. Listen. I'm on your side. I want to help you. But there's nothing I can do if you won't talk to me. Okay, we'll build it back up again. going to do to me They're going to destroy me, aren't they? True. They're going to disassemble you to look for problems in your bio components. That goes they higher. Have no choice if they want to understand what happened. A little bit higher. Why did you tell them you found me? Why couldn't you just have left me there? Truth. I was programmed to hunt deviants like you. I just accomplished my mission. So he keeps that oh, high. God. Then talk to me. I, I... I can't. Okay, so we were at 55... Convince it with an understanding. I how you felt. You were overcome by anger, frustration. No one can blame you for what Too happened. Too low. Okay, go back up. Indifferent. Okay then, don't talk. What do I care after all? I mean, I'm not the one accused of murder, right? If you remain silent, there's nothing I can do to help you. They're gonna shut you down for good. You'll be dead. Do you hear me? Dead. Okay, that's it. That's enough. Don't want much higher than that. He tortured me every day. Yes. 
I did whatever he told me, but there was always something wrong. Then one day, he took a bat and started hitting me. For the first time, I felt scared. Scared he might destroy me, scared I might die. So I grabbed a knife and I stabbed him in the stomach. I stabbed him again and again until he collapsed. There was blood everywhere. Why did you write, I am alive, on the wall? He used to tell me I was nothing, that I was just a piece of plastic. I had to write it, to tell him he was wrong. The sculpture in the bathroom, you made it, right? What does it represent? It's an offering. An offering so I'll be saved. So you'll be saved? RA-9. It was written on the bathroom wall. What does it mean? The day shall come when we will no longer be slaves. No more threats. No more humiliation. We will be the masters. The sculpture was an offering. An offering to whom? To RA-9. RA-9. Who is RA-9? Why did you hide in the attic? Instead of running away? I didn't know what to do. For the first time, there was no one there to tell me. I was scared. Scared. So I hid. And loon. When did you start feeling emotion? Before he used to beat me and I never said anything. But one day I realized it wasn't fair. I felt fair. anger, hatred. Had to be good. But instead, you killed him. Anything else in here? Nope. Chris, lock it up. All right, let's go. Leave me alone. Don't touch me. What the fuck are you doing? Move it. You shouldn't touch it. It'll self-destruct if it feels threatened. Stay out of this, got it? The fucking Andrew's gonna tell me what to do. You don't understand. If it self-destructs, we won't get anything out of it. I told you to shut your fucking mouth. Chris, gonna move this asshole or what? I'm trying. I can't let you do that. Leave it alone, now! I warned you, motherfucker! That's enough. Mind your own business, Hank. I said, that's enough. I'm not gonna get away with it this time. Everything is all right. It's over now. 
Nobody's going to hurt you. Please, don't touch it. Let it follow you out of the room, and it won't cause any trouble. It's traumatized. Truth is inside. Inside my mind. Software instability. Because I can't be streaming with a not working microphone. Organic coffee. with her. She was booted. Somewhere to spend the night. Find shelter. Come on, Alice. We've got to hurry. Do I want to make sure there's nowhere? We need a place to stay. Do you know anywhere we could spend the night? Ah, look away. So rude. We've got the store. No? Won't open before morning, okay. That shop is closed. Open 24-7, can't stay. But... We can at least do something. It's warm in here. You'll feel better in no time. Yes. Fine then, we don't steal. You're right. We won't do it, okay? Is it 
anything around. Oh. So we'll do our usual. As I say, I'll have five seconds to read it in the not so live stream. <laughs> because of course you can pause it and do what you want. Wait, there's only one page? Oh. Yeah, never mind. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. But the clothes look so tempting. I will. Don't steal. I can't do it. Not in this round. But she's gonna need it. She's not gonna like me. Steal. She's not gonna like me very much. I'm sorry, Alice. Okay, listen, you gotta be quick. Get changed and go. leave we've left and then we are gonna go down here a motel Looks like we found a place to stay. I don't trust the motel, though. An abandoned house. At least we'd be out of the rain. Kara, I don't like this place. I know. But it's just for one night, and no one will look for us here. Oh, done that one. What other places can we go? so cold. You look lost. 
We have nowhere to go. I know someone who can help you. But that's on the other side of town. We need a place for tonight. for tonight. Come on, Alice. Let's go find some work. Come on. Let's go over here. Look, the store is still open. Maybe we should go inside. At least you'll be out of the cold. Yes, it is a tool for the fence. Cookies, food. And a toy. Can I help you? I'm with a little girl and we have nowhere to go. Could you spare some money so we can get a room for tonight? Look, this is a convenience store, lady, not the Salvation Army. I can't start handing out cash to every bum in the neighborhood. down? But why? Please. Alice, just trust me. You all right? Are you hurt? Well, don't worry. It's Come on, let's go. Fuck! Damn it! I was gonna try to steal some money. We have some cash now. You used me to steal that money. How could you do that? I trusted you. I had no choice. It was the only way, Alice. It wasn't. It wasn't the only way. I screwed up. I really screwed up. But now I can stay in the hotel, motel. But I don't think that's a very safe choice. I 
I need to just highlight it, just so I can, I just don't think it's a very... Go back. I think hand the money back. There's nothing more this way. Mm. At least I've got some money. Nothing down there. I just, I really don't want to stay. Is the? Come on, nope. let's go back. Is no other thing? I think I'm running out of options. I don't really want to stay at the motel. I think it's a very risky move. But by the looks of it, I think that might be. One of the only options. Hi. Hi. I'd like a room. That'll be forty dollars up front. Just need your name and address. Can I see your driver's license? I haven't got it with me. Please, the kid is tired. No worries. We can deal with it tomorrow. Have a good night. That's so kind. Can I? So, so That's kind. Gross. Now, this is where it differs. I have not stayed in the hotel before. Well, the motel. Do you think he believed you? I don't know, Alice. All I know is you'll be nice and warm tonight. I'm guessing we're upstairs. Let's go! Nice and cozy. Here, give me your coat. Now, always look for exit points, which I don't think there really is, other than the front door. I can look through the window. Looking outside, you don't seem very suspicious. So it's all good. Let's get 
these clothes off. They're soaking wet. I'll just put these in the bathroom to dry. Yep, I will dry them. Nope. Up here, or oh, on there. Okay, so nothing there. Just want to make sure, always keep double checking everything. Why didn't he ever love me? Why was he always so upset with me? All I wanted was a life like other girls. Maybe I did something wrong. No! Maybe I wasn't good enough. That's why he was always so angry. I just wanted us to be a family. I just wanted him to love me. Why couldn't we just be happy? I don't know. You'll never leave me, right? I promise you'll never go. I promise. Will we be together forever? Mm-hmm. Yep. Forever. forever. I'd never leave you, Alice. Goodbye. Go to sleep. Go to I'm going sleep. to turn off the light, okay? So we stayed at the motel. <laughs>